And kids are about to head back to school, or maybe they already have. And backpacks are meant to carry all kinds of things. And if worn pr correctly, they can actually distribute the weight evenly. Right. Uh, but not if they're too heavy to begin with. Not all. I mean, if it's, yeah, yeah if it's, you know, the weight of the child, that's, that hurt, doesn't work. Could hurt your kids <laughs> back. <laughs> Dr. Don Schifrin is here offering some tips on making sure your kid's uh, backpack works for them and doesn't do dam like long lasting damage. Dr. Yeah. Don, you have no idea what you just walked into. Because <laughs> she is on I, fire with this issue. This Jake has younger kids. But I'll be back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um, love my kids' schools, but mm -hmm. I really got into it over with them over this. this and was, rightly so. Uh, about 14,000 kids are seen in emergency rooms every year uh, because backpacks are either worn incorrectly or they're too heavy. So this is an essential piece of equipment that every school child needs. And the difficulty is, as we say, the 411 is hard to enforce with a child who's coming home going, I, I can't help it, my backpack is making me look like a Sherpa climbing Mount Everest. True. And we all see right. this, we all see this at the bus stops. So a couple things to 411 is the four Ps, padding, packing, posture, and purging. Uh, make sure that your backpack has padded wide straps and a padded back. That's the, the pads. The packing, again, all of the heaviest items should go close to the back, in the compartments, close to the back, and, and then organize, don't supersize. Don't buy this huge backpack that's too big for your child. Organize it, so that's the packing. And then, of course, the biggest piece of equipment parents should have is this. Hmm. Right. And they should weigh the, don't get a heavy backpack, get a light backpack, and set the scale for 10 to 15% of your child's total weight. So if you have a 60 pound elementary school youngster, that's six to 10 pounds. That's it. And that's and, it. And they're, they're already past that. They're way past that. Way past that. So what do we, okay, so you're helping us get ready for the school year, but we've got to look at the longer picture issue here too and how we deal with it because doctors are telling us one thing schools are not they're adding laptops i love schools i love teachers yeah, i love you guys away the lockers, this is a problem too. they're they're remodeling the schools taking away the lockers they're adding the laptops but they're keeping these big heavy books do we need to as members of the pta get a few doctors to come with us and and have maybe a meeting Told with you she was on fire about this this it's morning a big I, 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 issue. walked into a little bit of a backpack hornet's nest here but it's true <laughs> that you need to say to the school, either we're gonna have textbooks in the classroom and textbooks at home, uh, or we're gonna have lighter textbooks, we're gonna have online textbooks. There is a very, this is a very difficult solution to, shall we say, work through. But it's out there every day. So the third, the third thing, of course, is posture, no swinging or slinging. If your child has to back into a chair to get into the backpack to lift it up, again, that's going to damage neck, shoulders, and back. And potentially while they're still growing, long-term damage, right? Of course, of course, especially to their necks because they tend to swing it up and they put it on one shoulder, so use those two straps. And if they can buy a backpack with a waist strap, a wide waist strap, that will take some of the pressure off their back and put it on because their waist. they're still idea. growing. You yes. wouldn't have your kids lifting heavy weights at the gym, yet we have them doing this every day. Yeah. And, and at least once a week, use the scale, purge the backpack of old uh, lunches that are getting moldy, right. uh, old homework. So parents have a really big job to do, and it's not just homework and sleep schedules. Yeah. It's making sure that backpack does not damage your child. Dr. Thank you Don, so much, Dr. Don. Thanks for Don. being in. Appreciate it's it. Great to be here.